Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. We've got a lot of really cool clips for this episode, so let's dive straight into it. This first clip was captured by Tesla Cam. A valet decides to joyride a customer's car to have a play with a brand new cheetah mode that Tesla has started pushing out. However, he forgets how to turn corners and breaks too late, taking the car for a little off-road adventure. We get to watch this crash from multiple angles thanks to the different cameras on the Tesla model. I will overlay some pictures of the damage and while it doesn't look too bad, the suspension is probably ruined. Watch the two cars on the left hand side. The black sedan gets a little bit fed up with the lane hogging of the SUV, so once he is able to get in front, he decides to dish out a little brake check. The SUV overreacts and loses control. Thankfully though the trucker was switched on and managed to avoid the collision. Look at this donut speeding through traffic, flicking from lane to lane. Due to his poor driving skills, he ends up rear-ending a car. This clip was filmed in Rock Island on the weekend. An arrest warrant was out for the driver of this SUV, but instead of taking the easy way and facing his crimes, he decides to reverse out of there, damaging multiple cars and a motorcycle. His escape was successful and he is still at large. This is a classic case of don't turn if you can't see the road. Instead of edging out, this white SUV decides to just go for it. If you are going to change lanes at the very last second, I often advise not to do it if you're going to cut off a police car. At least check your mirrors first. This guy ends up getting pulled over as a result of his stupidity. This clip is on the tamer side, but the camera car is not having the best luck on this road. He gets pulled out on by two assholes turning left one after each other. Look how beautiful this road is here. This is Alaska and this road is notorious for very bad driving. A caravaner on the opposite side of the road loses concentration and veers onto the opposing side. He realises too late and the damage is already done. Unfortunately the camera flips up due to heavy braking and a very poor mount. But we do manage to capture most of this crash. It's not as serious as it looks and there were only minor injuries. These guys are treating mountain roads like a racing track. These kinds of roads attract a lot of tourists and sightseers who pull over at the various laybys at the side of the road. They are greeted by a car mid U-turn and due to their speed they simply do not have time to stop. Miraculously they both managed to avoid the collision which seemed highly unlikely given the circumstances. Understandably so, after such a close call, these guys just pull over to catch their breath. He knows how close he was to a serious crash. This clip gives me some serious Final Destination vibes. 
To everybody's relief, it doesn't work out the same as the films. But man, you've got to secure your loads. Everybody hates traffic, but this guy really, really hates traffic. So much so that he's willing to take his sedan off-roading. On board with FedEx now, and firstly, this is not a very good dash cam. It's like 10 frames per second. A car overtaking on double yellows on a blind turn causes the FedEx to run off-road. I wonder if they ever managed to catch him. This soccer mom in the Escalade is on her phone and paying very little attention to oncoming traffic. She ends up blocking one lane of the highway. But at least she didn't have to put down her phone. Now, I'm no mechanic, but that really doesn't look like a factory feature. The whole rear axle cuts loose as this guy tries to pull a burnout. It's not uncommon to see bizarre things sitting in traffic, but have you ever seen somebody with the boot open with a dog staring straight back at you? My guess is that he's pulled the safety escape cord, but what the hell are these people putting their dog in the boot for? He looks pretty pleased with himself. We catch the lights just as they're turning red, but the pickup truck behind us doesn't believe in stopping and cuts incredibly close with the car waiting to turn right. It's a great feeling when you've ordered something from Amazon and you see the van pull up outside your house, although that joy probably disappears pretty quickly if this happens to you. Another case of a wrong way driver. As always, how on earth do people manage to do this? How do they get halfway up the road before realising? And lastly, why is this guy not just turning around? Instead, he opts to do the reverse of shame. If it was me, I'd rather not keep eye contact. The guy in the silver sedan in front is a drunk driver who's been driving pretty poorly before this for these guys to even start recording. He slams it into the central reservation and finally has to stop. Imagine if that concrete barrier wasn't there. Now this isn't an idiot in a car but it's still pretty funny so I thought I would include it. Are you on are you are you on Instagram? Are you on are you on friends? How are people this oblivious? Are She's standing in Snapchat? the middle of the road. Are you on are you are you are you are you are you doing your taxes? Stop. Are you doing your taxes? <laughs> hey Are you doing your taxes? Oh, she's Are realized. you doing your taxes? I'm sorry. Thank you, appreciate it. Are you on Pornhub? This guy has shredded his tire, but it's not going to stop him. This man has places to be. So this is the final clip. A whole bunch of stuff happened before the recording started, including a collision with a tree. But to summarize, this guy is very, very drunk. As it's the middle of the day, maybe he's an alcoholic, I don't know. He proceeds to try and flee the accident scene and ends up hitting another tree before finally making his escape. What he doesn't realize though is that his license plate was left at the scene. So he's gonna be pretty easy to find. All right guys, I will end the video here. I want to thank anybody that has watched even just one of my videos that I've released over the past two months. The channel is slowly but surely growing in size. Let's just see where this channel ends up. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next video.